Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 through 28, where it is written, Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, is Jesus being mean? No, of course, this is an object lesson. Jesus, the entire time, is planning to uh, help this woman. We want to make an object lesson to the apostles. The apostles don't quite get it yet, because this is before the resurrection after our Lord has died and raised. They still think, well, it's a Jewish Messiah that will be our great king and overthrow the Romans and make, this the, uh, make us a great kingdom. And for the non-Jews, if you're lucky, they'll be second-class citizens. But now nah, we don't care about them. And she shows up and says, Lord, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on me. No, oh, come on, Jesus, send her away. Because you ignored her, but she didn't stop. Come on, send her away. And, he's, she, and he's, Jesus says, tells the woman, look, it's not right to take the children's bread and feed it to the dogs. And let me say, dog here is used as a, as a pet you're fond of, not as some animal. Like, yes, I, I love to take care of my pets, but I gotta take care of my children first. And she's like, yes, Lord, but even the dogs, the pet dogs, see the table scraps. Because the woman put up with being ignored, with other people saying, shut up. Which is saying, yeah, I, I'd like to help, but I can't. Lord, help. Yes, of course I'll help. Your faith has your faith is strong. Your daughter is healed. That was Jesus Christ's plan the entire time. The lesson for us is that when we pray for something, when we truly desire something that's godly, it does not come right away. It comes with much time. It comes with much prayer. It, it's quite a thing to pursue something godly is quite an ordeal, or quite an effort. It's quite a quest. Why? It's not some trinket. It's not, well, I wish I had an ice cream cone. Okay, go to Dairy Queen and buy one. Yeah, good for me. It's not something you buy. It's not a status symbol. It's something that happens to you. It's something that's carved into who you are as a human being. The peace that passes understanding isn't just, okay, take a pill, and I'm suddenly at peace. No. It happens because you have stressful situations in your life, and you finally reach the point after how much time going, what am I doing? Is this even worth it? Do I even care? Yes, I do care. At the same time I value my health and peace of mind, I'm not going to let myself be pushed over the edge. That's how one usually ends up getting peace of mind on things. And so it is with the Lord. He was never like, okay, I'm dying on the cross to forgive you all your sins. I rise from the dead to give you eternal life. Now you're free to do as you please because you're covered. No. Jesus does die for us. He went to the cross for our sins. He died for our sins. We're forgiven. And the last day, we will rise again. Eternal life. It's not for us to go, well, I'm covered. Good for me. No. It's for a very specific purpose. That here in this world, we can join Jesus in what he is doing. For he's the creator of all things. God became human. Jesus Christ to die and rise to redeem this creation. This creation is important. And we're part of this creation. How do we join Jesus Christ our Lord in his mission of reconciliation to this creation? That is what we're in this life to figure out. And this can only be figured out through experience. By engaging the world personally and professionally. So why are we here? What are we doing? It's for each and every one of us to find out. 
We see Jesus Christ is dying and rising, not as an excuse to not engage the world, but as a reason to engage the world all the more, for it's his beloved creation, just as this woman and her daughter were his beloved children. Didn't know it at first, but eventually it was revealed, so it is with our meaning and purpose in life. So don't lose hope. Keep trying. Let us close with prayer. Lord, keep us from being discouraged. Give us your Holy Spirit and encourage us. And guide us now that we're your forgiven children to the life and mission you have us have in this world. Amen.